You didn't hear this from me. With those ecliptic mercenaries? Okay, let's all just take a breath here. We all want to protect people from the Ashtar. We're on the same side here. Mm-mm, the hell with that. This ain't the way things are done, and that's the end of it. With due respect, I have repeatedly explained that I do not need permission. I, I came to you in the spirit of cooperation, but if this is the reaction... 20 years, you've done this with me, and it has always worked. Always! Why are you trying to fix something that ain't broken? Mr. Wilson, we can deal with the Ashta better, safer. We didn't turn down fire or a space flight because we managed just fine until that point. I will not be talked down to like this. Okay. Miss Alpin, please don't take any further action until we've had some time to think this over. All right? We need to be smarter, better in the way we handle the Ashta. Friend, I gotta confess, I'm not much in the mood for conversation. I know, I shouldn't let that woman get up under my skin, but, well, I can't seem to help it. Girl comes in here with her big ideas about how we defend our city. No respect for the way we've done things for years. No worries about the possible consequences. And expect us to thank her for making our lives more difficult. I tell you, I've never seen entitlement like that. Not a shred of awareness in her. It's shocking is what it is. Look, this ain't New Atlantis. It ain't all flowers and chirping birds out there. These walls around us, they're here for a damn good reason. I've trained the guards here for years, again, for a damn good reason. We get it wrong, we not watching all the time, then the ash to kill innocent people. That's the simple reality of the situation. So when someone struts into town with their untested ideas on how to do things better, than those of us who dedicated our lives to protecting the city, that don't go over so well. How could I not? People in this city put their trust in me to keep them all safe. Look, this is getting my blood pressure up talking about this so damn much. You think you can talk some sense into her? Be my guest. Otherwise, I suggest you leave defending this city to the people who spent their lives doing it. Well, you sure don't look like you're delivering the capacitors I'm waiting for. Something I can do for you? Correction. Mr. Wilson has a disagreement with me. I can't tell if he's just being willfully ignorant or has just entirely misunderstood my proposals. I'm not sure what you've heard or, quite frankly, why this seems to be getting around the way it is. Despite assertions to the contrary, I'm not attempting to run anyone out of a job or open the city gates to allow Ashta to come pouring in. Nor am I in any way attempting to make a statement about the competence of the current security forces and or apparatus in Aquila City. I hope that clears things up. Okay, well, I must need to work on my delivery because I keep having this problem. I just... I need to prove that what I'm working on can make a positive difference. Then you'll see it my way. I could really use some help, in fact, just to make sure this all goes off without a hitch. Would you be willing to place some sensors for me? That is great news. Just take these and stick them in specific spots in the city along the wall. When you're done, come find me. 
I'll find something to do in the meantime to give myself an air of plausible deniability. If it weren't for the walls, the whole town... You're in the vanguard, right? Hey, thanks for your service. Lead on the job. Maybe for you and a couple buddies. Something deeply satisfying. You are out of it. Over there, tourist. You got some good news, I hope? Well, that's that then. So, this next part, it's a bit delicate. See that guard tower across the way there? I need to get in there and make a few small modifications to the terminal inside. I don't have the processing power to collate all the data that'll be coming in from the sensors. The existing network does. Oh, goodness. I really am bad at communicating sometimes. I have that part well in hand. The, uh, guard standing outside there, he's not gonna let me in. I need you to distract him. I should only need a few moments. So, I, I don't know, convince him to take a break or something. Or, if you're feeling particularly rebellious, maybe give him some official business to attend to. I believe it's what Davis would refer to as a ruckus. As soon as you've got him occupied, I'll scoot in and out before anyone notices. Okay? Let's do this. Hopefully, you're not some UC troll. What brings you to the wall? Boredom? Because if that's what you're looking for, you've hit the jackpot. And I'm just supposed to take this on what? Faith? Why don't you just hold on for one second? I think... No. Stop it. You're trying to confuse me. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. I... I guess I believe you. Just don't do anything I'll regret, okay? Ecologies are living things. They move, they change. The way we handle Ashta works for now. So we have to be prepared. That's all settled then. Thanks for the assist. Hope you're none too worse for wear. And yet, you have aided in the advancement of science. Once enough data has been collected, I'll have the proof I need to convince them, especially Davis, that my technology is useful. If you're curious, come back tomorrow. I might even have preliminary findings. Enough 
up there, huh? Space. Must be cool. I never get to that space. really tamper with the data intentionally? I just don't see any other explanation. Oh, it's you. I got the data from the seismic sensors, and I, I... I need help. Nothing that would get you in trouble this time. Promise. We're done here. Oh, thank you. It's really nice to hear that when others just don't seem to care. Remember the sensors you helped me set up around the city? Well... Davis Wilson is pretty angry about it. I suppose I should have expected that, but now no one involved with security is willing to talk to me. At all. And I really need to coordinate with them because the data I'm getting from the sensors is... Well, it's off. Not what I expected at all. No, the tech is fine. I never would have put it out there if I had any reservations about that. Look. I know I screwed up here. I went behind Davis's back and did what he told me not to. I don't expect him to talk to me. But this? I'm not gonna lie. It looks an awful lot like someone has been purposely messing with the system. I can't just stroll up and accuse him of anything, but maybe someone, you I'm thinking, could just ask around, see if something is going on. I'd really appreciate it. here think we own Akila. They're wrong. The Asta do. Don't mean to be rude, but I got a lot of things on my plate right now, so unless this is important, I'm gonna have to ask you to come back some other time. Oh, did you now? And did that perhaps come from a certain entitled so-called inventor who's caused me no end of headaches? Oh, is she? After going off and doing exactly what she was told not to, she's concerned now? She made my life a lot more difficult, but I don't have time to deal with that right now. I have more important things to worry about. Been tracking Ashta for a long time now, and suddenly their behavior doesn't add up. Probably not a coincidence. <laughs> Her help! is likely what put us in this mess. I think I'll pass. Now I need to get back out there and get some eyes on this situation. Since you so interested, looks like you can handle yourself. You wanna join me? <laughs> yeah, I've heard more than a few hunters say something similar. They nearly all apologize for it later. Gear yourself up however you need to and meet me at the gate. We'll head out from there. You see those ads for Ryuja? You thinking about checking it out? V. 
vigilance is what keeps Aquila City safe. Alright, you ready to head out there? Okay then. Just stick close to me, keep your head on a swivel, and you'll be fine. We'll be back before you know it. And maybe we'll get some answers. Be careful if you run into those ecliptic jerks. They fly around like they own the settled systems. And they like to use old abandoned facilities as outposts. You know, the ones like... over from the colony war. This is what I'm talking about. These tracks, they're all wrong. The spacing, the depth, just doesn't make any sense. Let's keep going. tracks don't follow any other paths I expect them to. It just doesn't add up. Looks like the tracks head this way. What in the hell? This is one of our security bots. Someone sent this thing out to mimic the Ashton? see them. You know how to handle yourself. Most times someone encounters an ash that they panic. Not you. But now I got even more questions. Who in the hell did this and why? No, this almost cost us lives. No one I know would think that's funny. Someone from Aquila Security did this. We're the only ones that have access to these robots or can change their orders. I need to check this over, see if I can find some more details. But while I do that, I need you to run back to the city. Check the access logs on the computer in the barracks. Look for whoever signed for this thing last. I'll meet you in the city when I'm done here. Zealots worship a snake.
people have no idea what we do to keep them safe. Oh, hey there. Back already. Davis said something about you going on patrol with him? He's... <clears throat> He's alright, isn't he? Nothing, uh, bad happened out there. Damn it! I thought I deleted those! Look, people getting hurt was never part of it. Davis has just been so stressed over this whole thing with that woman and her sensors, and it's been affecting him on the job. The damn robot was just supposed to stomp around, mess up her data, and then come back. I didn't know it would rile up the Ashta so much, and it wasn't supposed to break down. I was just trying to make life easier for Davis, I swear. Another off-worlder. The robot's internals are fried, so I came up empty. You have any better luck than I did? Know who's responsible? You serious? Oh, Bailey. What were you thinking? My own people sabotaging equipment. Whole world's gone crazy. Well, I'm gonna have to go deal with this. Thanks for helping out. I'll kick some credits your way. May not be much. I'm not made of money around here. You might want to give Miss Alpin some time to get clean data. Might be a research. Well, it might prove useful. I'm trying to cut down on terror, but I think I might be addicted to it. It's just too good. Well, what can you do? Search could open up more of a Kila to settlement in time. Hey, how have you been? Staying out of trouble? Well, whatever gets you through the day, I've had more than my fill of it for this lifetime. Things here have been, well, they're better. The Isis thought a bit between me and Davis. We'll probably never be friends, but at least we're on speaking terms now. I think he finally appreciates the value of my research. Yeah, we're much better as a team, even if it is a cautiously engaged one. In fact, speaking of Davis, I have to confess, I'm a little worried about him. In analyzing the recent data, I've isolated readings suggesting that someone is making patrols far more often than in the recent past. I don't have any direct evidence, but I know it's Davis. It's gotta be. I'm worried that everything I've inadvertently put him through is kinda... 
I don't know, pushed him over the edge? Or at least a little too close to it. No, he's not. He's out there at least four and a half times as frequently. There's something else going on. I'm better with statistics and circuits than I am with people. I've already made a mess of this situation. Do you think you could go speak to him? If nothing else, it would ease my conscience. I think I got them. What do you call them? Just keep your gun holster during the day. Oh, brother. Why is it every time I see your face, I bet a headache's gonna follow shortly after? Mm-hmm. All broken up about it, I'm sure. So what can I do for you? I don't know whether I should be reassured that someone cares or creeped out that someone's watching me that closely. Ah, that woman, I swear. Even though we've smoothed over most of the rough spots, she still manages to strike a nerve without even trying. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Not sure yet. When we were out there and we found that robot, obviously that threw me for a loop. Still can't believe one of my own people will pull a stunt like that, endangering us all. But the more I thought about it, that whole episode doesn't account for some of the tracks I saw out there. Too large, too spread out. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. If there's a bigger Ashta out there, Something meaner than what we've seen so far? I have to know. I tell you what, if you and Kiona are worried, why don't you just come with me then? Either I get an extra gun in the fight, or you get to laugh at the old man and say, I told you so. I'll give you a chance to gear up if you need it. And uh, maybe grab the biggest gun you got, just in case. All right. You know, Keone showed me her data. She's a clever kid. She's got a lot of things figured out. I think we can make some real improvements in the future. She had a couple sets of data that she thought were erroneous or something. But it seems to me that it might not be. Bigger, faster, Ashta sounds like it matches up with the tracks I've seen. But, I tell you, I'm hoping she's right, and it's just a glitch. And, uh, no need to tell her I said that. Wouldn't want it going to her head. All right, here we are. Let's head this way. I remember a story from the first time I was here on Aquila. I had totally forgotten about it till recently. Every so often, we get independent types of group that they can succeed where everyone else has failed. Some of them stride off into the wilderness, certain that they're going to make more credits than anyone in history. Mining, botany stuff, whatever. Warners just don't get through to them. Most of them don't come back. But this one time, miner from some corporation or other, he drags himself back into the city bloody and half dead. Claimed he seen an ash as big as a house out there. The older guys all said he was delirious. And me, well, I was new as anything and just listened to him. Now, though, I'm wondering if maybe it wasn't just blood loss in the heat stroke. Maybe he really did see something. Maybe I should have come out here a long time ago. Shit, that's gotta be it. No matter what happens, you make it back to the city and tell him about this. You hear me? Out of you. 
I didn't think we were going to make it through that. If you hadn't been with me, no way I'd be standing right now. <laughs> you are something else, you know that? We got out alive this one time. That's good. But this ain't going to be the last time we have to deal with this. Now that we know these things are out here, we need to track them and keep them out of populated areas. And that plan is going to need everybody. So, I'm going to swallow my pride a bit here and ask you to go tell Keone what we found. Let her know that her data wasn't an error and that she needs to focus on it. Oh, don't worry about me. Thanks again for saving my ass. So, what happened? So, I was right? My data was accurate? I can't believe I second-guessed it! You know, I was really hitting a point where I was starting to think maybe this was all a mistake. That I stuck my nose into something I shouldn't have. Davis was so certain they had everything under control that they didn't want or need my help. But they did, didn't they? Don't worry. I am sufficiently humbled. Well, for now. I need to get to work on this immediately. But while I've been sitting around, I whipped up a little something for you. I thought it was funny. <sighs> now that I'm giving it to you, I'm hoping it's not in really poor taste. Anyway, thank you, again. Nobody's allowed outside the city walls at night. Aquila <sighs> City truly is the jewel of the Free Star Collective. Good to meet you, friend. Name's Elias Cartwright. I'm the mayor of Aquila City. Now, I've got a memory for faces, and I can't say I've seen yours around here before. I make it a point to introduce myself to everyone who passes through our fine city. As the founder himself once said, there's no substitute for a warm welcome and a friendly smile. You're more than welcome. As I'm sure you know, us folk in the Free Star Collective put great stock in human kindness and generosity of spirit. I like to think that's what sets us apart from our neighbors in the United Colonies. We don't rely on machines or bureaucracy. We rely on each other. I won't pry about what brought you here. That's all of your business and none of mine. However, I'd be more than happy to give you the scoop about the core 
and Midtown. The core is the oldest district and represents the original settlement dating back to the days of Solomon Co. The descendants of the original settlers still make their home there today. Frank's just the latest owner of the old Hersonove Manor, and he's the worst, simply the worst. But it's been a problem since the Hersonove family ran out of heirs. There's a no wrong the Cartwrights have been trying to write for decades. And hence, well, I need help. I was right to talk to you about this. The last Hossanov was Sahar. Sad tale there. <sighs> By all accounts, when she lost her last grandchild around 40 years ago, well, it broke her. She packed up and just plain left the estate, built some farm far from Aquila City and the protection of its walls. It didn't take long before the Ashta overran the farm, and just like that, no more Hossanovs. A lot of folks thought the same. So I need someone to go to the old Sahar farm, brave the Ashta, and see if she left a will. I swear I'll honor her wishes. Akila owes her family that much. And if it happens to kick Mr. Big Shot out of the core, well, that'll be a bonus. You are a blessing. Sahar's farm is elsewhere on the planet. If you can't handle Ashta, please just don't go. I don't want this whole sordid story to have more tragedy. Be careful, and look out for yourself. I went to chef school. Landing site locked. Take us in.
for takeoff in three, two, one, go. Stay in orbit or jump. Your call. Cool. Elios retreat? Is that your ship that landed not too long ago? I know your type. Freewheeling space age. Like I said, be careful. I'd rather you forget the whole Hasanov business. I wish my granddad was still with us. What happened to the Hasanovs never sat right with him. You got it! That's wonderful! But Blake Aldwell. Wait, let me think back. There was a Blake. Might be we can track him or any surviving kin down. I'll get my lawyer on this. Frank Langston's in for a rude surprise. And we can maybe see a Hassano return back to the core. They helped make the Freestar Collective. If they have living heirs, well, it's more than I could have hoped for. You've more than earned this. You've done the city a great service. <laughs> <laughs> 